Google just destroyed your website online. As of March 2024, Google have announced that they're going to be closing down almost 22 million websites that have been created with Google business profiles. This means that millions of small businesses are about to lose their home on the internet. To give you a brief history, websites created with Google business profiles are, or were, simple one-page websites based on the information in your Google business profile. You adjust the information in your Google business profile, it adjusts your simple one-page website, and it gave millions of small businesses exposure on the internet in a really seamless, simple-to-use way. And now Google have decided to shut them off, leaving almost 22 million people needing to find an alternative. Now, if this affects you, it doesn't mean your actual Google business profile is going away. It's just the website itself. And until June the 10th, you will get automatically redirected to your Google business profile if you try and go to the website. However, after that date, you will get the dreaded page not found. Your profile, your exposure, your home on the internet will have disappeared. It's not all doom and gloom though. If you look at it in the right way, this is a fantastic opportunity to update your brand, update your online presence and make the most of what is a more and more digital marketplace. It doesn't have to be difficult and it doesn't have to be costly. And today I'm going to show you some of the very best website builders so that you can replace your old Google business profile website with something a lot better with very little extra effort or money. If you want to see a tutorial on exactly how to create a simple one page replacement for your Google business profile, then make sure you subscribe to WP Beginner with the notifications on because we have that tutorial for you. That tutorial will focus on what we think is the absolute best option for you for your brand new page. And that is using wordpress.org, not to be confused with wordpress.com. They are both very different. We really want to stress it's wordpress.org that you want to use here. Wordpress.org is the most future proof of all of the options we're going to talk about today because of how it's structured and how it's run. And based on the fact that you are absolutely losing a page because of what a company has decided to do, it could be very beneficial and give you some peace of mind to move to a platform where that's not going to happen to you again. Now, WordPress.org is going to have endless possibilities. You can absolutely stick to that one page online presence, nice and simple, no problems at all. It's what we did our tutorial on. However, if you maybe in the future or even now want to start to expand your online presence, maybe delve a little bit deeper, get a bit creative and really have a really strong brand online, the options are amazing with WordPress.org. You can do anything that you can dream of and the learning curve isn't really that steep. Put a little bit of time in and you can get an awful lot back. Of course, one of the big advantages of the Google business profile websites were that they were free. Well, the advantage here with WordPress.org is that it is also free to use the platform. There's no charge. However, there are a couple of costs that we need to consider. They're not particularly big, but we do have to discuss them. In order to use WordPress.org, you need hosting and you need a domain name. Neither of these are expensive. We recommend either Bluehost or Hostinger. If you head down into the description, you'll find links to both of them and you'll be able to get your hosting and your domain name for under $40 for the entire year. Your hosting is essentially a server where your website sits, is hosted on the internet and your domain name is your www.yourwebsite.com, whatever it should be. You absolutely have to have both of these. And again, if you are concerned about this, how to do it, please do go and check out our tutorial. It'll walk you through it step by step. If we were to give you one pick, one website builder to go with today, it would be WordPress.org. It's the most powerful. There are the most options. There's the most features. You can just do so much with it. 
And yet, if you want to stick with a simple one page website, then it's actually not difficult to set up at all. The costs are the lowest around and you can't really go wrong. If you want to advance your website in the future, you can absolutely do that with WordPress.org. Or if you want to keep it as it is, then WordPress.org lets you do that as well without running up the costs. It's our number one pick. It's the one we think you should go with. However, if it doesn't sound like it's right for you, we have some other options for you here as well. And let's get into them. Now we're going to move on to some website builders that like WordPress.org don't have any code, but maybe they've got some really nice website builders, some drag and drop, maybe some what you see is what you get editing. Something's going to be really nice now. They may have a few downsides, either in price or features, but they're definitely worth considering. And they're some of our favorite alternatives. And we're absolutely going to start with Wix.com because Wix.com has all of that. It's easy to use. It's nice and beginner friendly and has a really great drag and drop page builder. Now, Wix.com is fully hosted, so you don't have to go and get the hosting and the domain name like I spoke about earlier with WordPress.org, which is great. Takes one thing off your plate. But of course, it adds an additional cost. There is a monthly cost to Wix.com, which over time will definitely run you higher than the yearly cost for just having hosting and a domain for a WordPress site. But it might be more to your liking. Wix.com do actually have a free plan, but we don't recommend it for running your site. It's essentially like a trial feature. You can use it to see if you like Wix, but absolutely don't try and use it in order to run your site. It's just not going to do the job. Also worth mentioning that if you do go for the lower priced Wix plans, then you are going to get Wix adverts and you're going to get Wix branding on your page. That might not be a big deal to you, but it is definitely worth knowing. And if Wix do run ads on your page, you don't get any revenue from that. That all goes to them. A couple of things we really like about Wix.com that could make your life really easy if you are a beginner are the number of templates that are available. You just select a template, apply it, and it's going to look great straight from the off. And also they have an artificial design intelligence. So for pure simplicity, you can fill in some details, answer some questions, and an AI will actually design your website for you. If you're looking for something fully hosted with a drag and drop website builder, then you can't go too far wrong with Wix.com. Now, earlier on when I was talking about getting hosting providers for WordPress.org, I mentioned hosting it because they are a hosting provider. However, they also have a really great website builder that is fantastic for beginners. Just like Wix.com, you've got a really great drag and drop builder. And that means like everything else, no coding knowledge is required. And again, similar to Wix.com, they have an AI powered website builder that could make your life very simple. You've got pre-made templates and they're going to offer you over a million stock images if you want to add a little bit of extra spice to your web page. While you might not quite have all the integrations or tools that you want, if you are looking to grow your website in the future, again, WordPress.org is your place for that. For pure simplicity and being beginner friendly, this is a really great option. So just like the hosting a website builder and Wix.com, this is web.com and they are a fully hosted all in one solution with a drag and drop website builder. They've all got similarities, no hosting required, no domain name required. It's all a package, but you pay a monthly fee. We really like the web.com customer support here. If you are a beginner, because you get unlimited phone and chat support. So if something goes wrong or you have kind of some issues, they're going to be able to help you out. But again, similar to those all in one drag and drop builders we've already spoken about, web.com is going to be a little bit more limited in its features when compared to WordPress.org. But if you are just looking to make that one page website, that might not be a problem. Pricing with web.com is a little bit more expensive, though. They've got a really great introductory offer. But then when the prices go up, you could actually end up finding you're going to spend more in three months with web.com than you would with WordPress.org over an entire year. Web.com is another really great beginner friendly drag and drop builder for you to consider in a very similar vein as Wix.com and the Hostinger website builder. And our final pick may look a touch daunting because it is part of one of the world's leading CRM 
and marketing automation softwares, HubSpot. But HubSpot, while they have all of this amazing technology, all of these amazing tools, they also have a really great beginner friendly drag and drop website builder that we like a lot. Now, one of the advantages of HubSpot is that the entry level plan is free. You don't have to pay for it. That includes the website builder, but it also includes some really great tools like live chat that you could add to your site. And it also includes access to their CRM software. So if you are looking to maybe advance your business a little bit, advance your online presence, then HubSpot could be a really great place to start. Now, the HubSpot builder itself can be quite basic. Now, again, that might be fine for you if you are just looking to build a simple page. But if you're looking to get into that more advanced stuff, use the CRM. We would actually recommend using WordPress.org and then adding the HubSpot plugin that way, which is, again, free. That might be getting a little too technical, but if you want to check out more information on HubSpot and their CRM, then do click this video here. But most importantly, if you're looking to get the best possible replacement website for yourself, then check out our tutorial right here. I've been James. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.